What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you Melon app. This one lets you stream to multiple social media accounts from one single place. I can stream to YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Periscope, Twitch and RTMP all in within Melon app. Now these guys are pretty solid because they come from Streamlabs and Streamlabs comes from Logitech. If you haven't heard from Logitech before, that means you live in a cave. So these guys are really well known. What we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you around the platform, plus I'm gonna make an actual real life test where I'm gonna stream to multiple places at the same time. So follow me to my desktop right now. All right, this is Melon App, and the first thing we're gonna do before we actually jump into a real life test is I'm gonna show you around Melon App so you know how to get started. So let me show you the first thing that's most important. Where can I actually stream this? Let me click on go live. And this is where we're going to connect our social media accounts. In this case, you're gonna see, I'm already connected to YouTube SaaS Master, the Facebook, LinkedIn, and I can view more options and I can connect Twitch, Periscope, and a custom RTMP. So for example, you can use an external app or a downloadable app and stream from there. So grab that stream also, and it just makes it even more flexible. So you have all those options available to stream. So it's pretty cool that we have all these options. Now, what can we actually do? Well, obviously we can show ourselves right here. So for example, we have the camera available. If I show on screen right now, we are viewing on my, on my back is a green screen because obviously I'm recording with the DSLR. Now actually, I actually have the option to stream with my DSLR if I connect it via USB, but I can't do both at the same time. Okay, what other things can we do? Well, we can share our screen. So for example, oh, my bad, right here. We can share the screen and we get the options. The entire screen, a window. So for example, I'm just gonna stream Chrome, okay? And that window's added on the left. I'm not showing it right now, but I can also stream it here. I will be doing it in a bit, okay? I can also add a video from here. So for example, let's grab a video from my desktop. So this video, this one's pretty short. Okay, let's grab that one. I can prepare my video there just in case in some point of my streaming, I want to display a video that I have on my desktop. That's possible with this, all right? So now, what if I wanna do if I wanna share the screen? Click on share screen. I'm still right here with the camera. Sorry for the vortex look, but you get the idea of what's going on. So here's the desktop view right now. And we have different type of views. If I click here, see that there? Now it jumped my camera to the left and we have different, different options. Now I wanna show this video right here. I can click play on it. Element, let's click on it. And it's showing the video while we're doing this live stream. So it's pretty useful to have that available. Now we can hide that, we go back to this one, we can hide this also. And this, there's different type of views depending on what you have displayed right now. So in this case, I only have one screen, my suggested views are different, see there? I got different backgrounds. Now there's themes available. So right now you're viewing a background theme right there. Let me show you where those options are. And that's gonna be over here, edit screen. Now there's several options available. This is really nice. First off, we have design. So we can change the banner font on the bottom. You see that there? Right now it's using Roboto. We have these fonts available right now. Um, no custom fonts, but you have a good amount of fonts available. Banner background, we're viewing it on black right there. Um, we could say, you know what, my branding is green. so. Let's go with green, font color, ticker. The background right here, we're viewing. Uh, we're viewing this one right now. Click on it, choose another one. We can show more or we can upload an overlay. I'll leave that one because it looks good. We got a little overlays right here. Okay, let's get rid of those. We got themes available, like the whole thing already made, pre-made. So for example, that's the one I'm using right now, but I can switch it up to any one of these if I like how they look. Okay, let's go back. We got the logo. In this case, I already added my logo, and there it is. Depending on the plan that you're on, you're gonna be able to add or remove the logo. The banner, do I wanna display it or not? The ticker, so for example, if I wanna add a display on the bottom that says something like, hey, you know what? Example, um, grab the deal in the description, right? And it's gonna be scrolling there. I can move it to the left, scroll to the right, top, and turn it off if I want. Next thing we have is the video. So for example, if I want to display a counter at the beginning, let's go. In case I want to use that to get started, all right? Let's go back. 
we got the green screen available. Let me show you how that works. Okay, let me turn that on. I understand. Go into settings. And what do we want for the background? We can upload our own background or we can select one of the ones that are available right here. Example, I'll grab this one. Okay, and there we go. I'm cut off. I got a green screen. Now, there might be a little bit of greenish there that you can see and a little black on top right there because I, obviously I have this set up for my camera on the top, not for what I'm using here on my laptop. So just be aware of that. And we have the fade adjustment. So for example, it depends how much green you need, for example, there or too much, if you need more or less, kind of took it exactly where you kind of need it. And you also have the option to use chroma key, chroma key green or blue. So for example, if my green screen was blue, I would choose blue for that. Um, that's really useful because when you're wearing green, it's obviously gonna do transparency. So you put a, a blue background. That's what you would do, all right? Next thing we have is the settings right here. Right now we're doing full HD. That's what we're gonna use for streaming. We can lower that if we have bad internet connection. We can record this, participant name, show them the audio status, turn text to speech on guest join and speaker indicator. So when someone speaks, it's gonna show who it actually is. Those options are available, available right there, okay? We can also schedule, we can record and we can go live. Plus we can show the chat widget, which once we do the live test, I will have that enabled, enabled so you can see how it actually previews. We also have the invite guest. Depending on the plan that you're on, it's going to depend on the amount of guests that can join, for example, with you participants, but you can invite guests to have people join in here. So that is the Melon app overview of the actual app, how it's how it works, the dashboard. Let's actually do a live test. So let's jump over there. Going live in three seconds. Hey, what's going on guys? My name's George and today I'm just testing out Melon app. This is a real live test of the actual app streaming. So let's find out if it's actually doing it. So we should be streaming to Facebook group, Facebook fan page and YouTube. Those are the three that I selected to do this test. So let's go find out if this is actually streaming. Now I have the chat enabled on the right it's gonna work on all except the Facebook group. Now, why is that? Because they need to actually, it's, it's like a API setting that they need to set so it actually works together. And here is me. Uh, well, there I am. It's live streaming on the Facebook group and I'll just be commenting something like a test, see what happens. All right, so not getting comments from the Facebook group. So, oh, there it is. Okay, so it is showing, but I'm not getting the actual users. So I don't know who it is. I can show it on the stream. So there it goes, it pops up and people can actually view it. And this is really useful when you're recording because later on when you post the recorded video, well, you know that it's there. Let's hide from the stream and there we go. Let's go see our fan page. Okay, let's go right here. Okay, waiting for that to load. There we go. Here is the live stream of me also. Let's go open that up. There we go. Here is the live stream. All right, so it might get a little bit weird. It looks, it looks, it's looking good. All right, let me go ahead and test the comment right here. Just clicked on test. I'm getting more users saying it's awesome, but we need LTT. So show on stream. So for example, there's another user. Okay. Let me actually stream what I'm actually viewing for the user. So they know what I'm actually previewing. Um, you're looking at a vortex view, but you get the idea the around the stream. You're going to see it. So over here, I just tested, obviously I commented with my own fan page, but if it's a fan page, I do see who it actually is from. So it's SAS master and I, typed text. All right. Um, let's go find out on YouTube what's going on. So over here, let's go search for my channel, SAS Master. If you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing. And here's my life also on YouTube. Let's open it up. Let's say something. Um, testing. Testing chat. All right. So that's sent out and there it is. 
here's the live. Let's show it on stream. There's me with the YouTube. You can see we actually get the image from the, the avatar. So that's pretty cool. We get the name from the channel and what it says. So let's hide it now. Oh, got a lot. Oh, here it is. Okay. Hide from stream. So the only ones we don't get to view the actual username is from the Facebook group. Let me show you what it actually says. We currently do not support sending messages through Facebook group, Facebook profiles, and LinkedIn accounts. So you can receive the message, but you don't know where it's coming from. So you might need to have like a little phone holder and see the chat over there just to see that everything's fine. What can we do with Mail and App? Well, we can stream 1080p, which is really good. Um, let me get, let me know on the chat how it's looking for you guys. I mean, I it looks good for me, but I'm not sure how it's going to look for you. Um, things we have is we can actually have a green screen for this. So let me show you how that works. Let's go to edit screen and let me show you guys what I'm actually viewing. Okay. On the right, I have, I can change the design, the logo, the banner, ticker. In this case, we're going to do green screen and we're going to put this really cool office on the back. Okay. Let's hide that. That's me right there. And boom, that's me. It looks okay for being streaming and doing all that. I kind of see a little bit greenish there on my fingers but we have a little bit of tweaking right here that we can do. That's too much. That's too much, like around there. Okay, that looks better. So we have that green screen available. Um, let me know what you guys think, how it looks. Let's go to the chat, see if someone else, someone responded. Show the chat. All right. Okay, so someone hasn't commented yet about that. Let me go into, if you guys have any questions, let me know, all right? This is a live test. Let me go into the Facebook group. All right, six comments, test. It's awesome, but we need LTD. Okay, it's Byron. Okay. okay, so if you guys don't know, this is called Melon App. It's from Streamlabs, the same guys who are from Logitech. So, I mean, if you haven't heard of Logitech, those guys are a big ass company that makes mouses, keyboards, and a bunch of tech for computers. So they're really well known. It's a well-established company and they're, they launched this. It's called Melon App. So far it's been doing good. We can also, we can do a lot of things. We can multi-stream. We can stream to, for example, let me show you my screen over here. Oh, I got to end it. But well, you can stream to YouTube, to Facebook fan group, fan page. You can stream to LinkedIn company and profile. You can stream to Periscope, Twitch and RTMP. So with RTMP, you can, from other sources, you can jump in here. So we have all those options available, plus it's pretty neat, all right? So we got people saying, you know what? It looks cool, very professional. And there we go. This is kind of like, uh, what's that? StreamYard, this is a comparison with StreamYard. So it's kind of similar to that. You know, we got the chat, we have the, the widget right here when there's a chat. We can multiple stream, we can do a lot of things, change the type of view, switch it around. We can invite guests if we like. Um, the invite guest amount that you have will depend on how many, on what plan you're on, right? So something you have to consider. But basically that is a test I wanted to do. We can also schedule just in case you guys wanna do a scheduled broadcast. Again, you can stream to all of these places. Here we go. All these are available and we can schedule for it to do it automatically. All right. So that's pretty cool. We can record also if I wanted to start recording this, which I don't want to do a double recording, but I clicked on it. All right. But basically that is Melon app. Um, you guys wait for the final version of this video. This is just a live test for just the testing. So you guys can see that. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is SASMaster, and I'll see you guys later.